Welcome to Jeff Ogden's training camp. Over the next 30 minutes, it is my intention to not only give you a great workout, but I want to bring out the inner athlete that I know you have inside of you. We're going to go through four quarters. The first quarter is going to consist primarily of lower body exercise. Then we're going to get in and we're going to test and challenge that core. Then we're going to get into upper body. Again, we're going to get into some more core total body, some more core, and then finally we're going to finish off just trying to wear you out completely, trying to get you to failure. So at, these 30, at the end of this 30 minutes, you are going to be exhausted. Stick with me. I need you to go as fast as you can, as hard as you can, and then hang on as long as you can. Let's go ahead and pick up our dumbbells. This first set, again, is primarily the lower body. We're going to stay with this exercise for 30 seconds. Then we're going to do a little bit more cardio for 15. Okay, here we go. Feet are together. Dumbbells down here by your side. 30 seconds. Ready and go. We're going to squat it down. Our intention right now is to throw our buns backwards, okay? We don't have any weight on our shoulders, so I'm not worried about compressing that spine at all, okay? A modification for this is you don't need to have dumbbells in your hand. You can set them down to the side and just continue on. Maybe the next time we do this exercise, you're able to hang on to those dumbbells just a little bit longer, okay? In about 10 seconds, we're gonna have our feet nice and wide. Dumbbells are still gonna be in our hand, chest is high, buns are back, and we're jumping it up in three, two, one, and get it. Squatting it down, jumping it up, nice high chest. Modification for this is we're just gonna come up on our toes. Weights on our heels on the squat, coming up onto our toes. Good. You see we're getting a little bit winded out here. Now we're going to go to the next exercise, reverse lunges. Dumbbells down by our side. We're lunging it backwards, okay? I like a lunge backwards because it protects our knees just a little bit more. You see how there's not a whole lot of pressure on those knees. The chest is nice and high, okay? Heart rate's starting to get up a little bit. We're starting to breathe a little bit. I like where we're going with this, okay? We're in froggers right here, grabbing your weights, putting them right here at your hips. Fingertips coming right in between your feet and you're throwing your buns up and down, up and down, okay? All the weight is back here on the heels, nothing is on the toes, okay? In about five seconds, we're going to get into little man in and out squat jumps. Staying really low, taking in and out, ready, set, go. Here we go, 30 seconds. This one, I just want to burn those legs. You should feel a nice burn, starting to get a little exhausted. Again, if you have bad knees, hips, or you're just getting started with this uh, workout routine, you can go ahead and step it side to side. Again, we're keeping constant tension on those legs at all times. We're going to go through this one more time, going back to those tight squats. Ready, and go. Right back. Again, maintaining perfect form throughout. You never want to go faster than perfect. Good. Throwing those buns backwards. That looks awesome. Looks awesome. Largest muscles in your body are all in your lower body. We train those. We burn more calories. We get to our results much more efficiently. Okay. Here we go, we're going into our sumo squat jumps one more time. Ready, get it. Good, coming up off the ground. If this is easy, I'm just gonna challenge you to jump a little bit higher. Again, we're going as fast as we can, as hard as we can, and we're hanging on as long as we can. Okay, let's do this for five more seconds. That looks great, that looks great. And beautiful, let's lunge it back. Again, nice high chest. Awesome, awesome, beautiful. Looks good, guys. Good. We're going to hit that core in just a second. I want those legs to be burning. This is our last little opportunity with our little man in and out squat jumps to really burn it out. And here we go. Taking it in and out. Staying low as you can the entire time. There's a three foot ceiling. Don't come up above it. Good. Stay low. Stay low. Ooh, starting to sweat a little bit. Starting to feel a little bit. And we're going to get into core work, into our staple abs, and then a little Russian twist in three, two, one and get a great job you guys the first quarter is over we're on our backs we have one dumbbell in our hands legs are straight out in front of you we're going to take that dumbbell behind our back we're going to take it up to a single knee a single knee and then a double knee single single and then double perfect let's continue this for 30 seconds beautiful targeting that those abs by pulling our knees up, we get to target those lower abs a little bit. By bringing our upper body up, obviously we're targeting those upper abs as well. Getting a lot of work, a few more seconds with this, then we're gonna hit our obliques a little bit. Okay, in five seconds, you're gonna grab your dumbbell, holding it right here, knees are bent, heels are off the ground. We're twisting side to side in three, two, one, and get it. Good, leaning back about a 45 degree angle. Very important not to tuck your chin, but keep your chin looking up into the horizon. You're breathing, breathing. Again, water whenever you need it, rest whenever you need it. We're gonna go back to those staple abs one more time, and then we're gonna move on to the second quarter. In three, two, 
One, good, grabbing your weight, legs are straight out in front of you. Modification is you don't have to use the weight. She can just come up to a single knee, single knee, and then again, a double knee. Perfect. That's awesome, guys, that's awesome. We're gonna go to Russian twist one more time. In three, two, one, good. Grabbing your weight, we're going side to side. If you don't have a weight, it's fine. We can do it right like this. Knees are bent, heels are off the ground. Looking side to side. Good, five more seconds and you guys made it through the first quarter. Beautiful, got a lot of blood flowing, heart rate is up. That's a great first quarter. We're gonna move on to the second quarter and relax. Good. Grab some water, you guys. We're gonna move into the second quarter. This next quarter, we're gonna focus predominantly on the upper body. Okay, this is, format is just a little bit different on this one. We're gonna stay in one position, working the largest muscles in our upper body, the chest and the back. Okay, so we're gonna stay in one prim primary move to begin with, okay? We're gonna go, my feet are spread out so I have a nice secure base. I'm gonna lower myself down, press myself up, drive that elbow beyond my back. Um, keeping my chest square to the mat, doing that with both sides and then repeating. As soon as you finish that, you're gonna go to your knees and I'm gonna have you do four different exercises, okay? It's either, it's either gonna be a bicep curl, a shoulder press, a lateral raise, or an upright row, okay? Here we go, let's get started. Grab your dumbbells. We're in a push-up position. We're gonna do a push-up row row, starting in three, two, one, and get it. We're keeping our chest square to the mat, driving those elbows up nice and high. These are the largest muscles in our upper body, want to make sure we have no compensations, no imbalances, so we want to work the pull just as much as we work the press. Modification for this is we are on our knees. Taking that weight off of our arms a little bit, also keeping the eyes in front of the fingertips. That's perfect. In three seconds, we're going to go to shoulder presses. Ready, go. On your knees, pressing those dumbbells up to the sky. We're doing this for 15 seconds. Beautiful. Keeping those abs tight. I like it, I like it. Good, now we're putting a little pressure, a little stress on the shoulders. We're gonna drop right back into that push-up row row. Ready, go. Back into push-up row row. Now those shoulders are a little bit more tired, but it's gonna focus a little bit more on the chest for these presses. Good, driving the elbows up way beyond your back. It's perfect, Matt, beautiful. The next exercise, we're gonna go to bicep curls. In three seconds, we're gonna have our elbows locked right in here to our side, curling those dumbbells up. Ready, go. Good. There's a couple variations that we can do with this. Okay, we can have our palms facing in. This will create a nice, long, lean bicep. We can also have the palms facing up, which shorten the head of that bicep as well. We will go back into push-ups with rows in three, two, one, and get it. Good, you guys. Remember, we just finished up with our legs now we're focusing on that upper body. Soon we're gonna put it all together and then we're gonna finish by wearing you out. Stay with us a little bit longer. In five seconds, we're gonna to go to lateral raises. On your knees, your elbows are gonna be slightly bent. We're gonna raise it right up here till it's perpendicular to your body and lower it back down. Ready, go. Sitting up on your knees. You might find that your upper body is just a little bit fatigued right now. We wanna to continue to exhaust these deltoids. Good, you see how her core is nice and tight. She's coming right up to perpendicular. Her chin is always up. This is an amazing job. Last time with push-up row rows. Ready, go. Let's finish it up, you guys. You're killing it at home, trying to stay with us. If you have to stop and rest or pause for any reason, do so and then jump back in. Next time we do this workout, you're not gonna have to rest quite as long. Beautiful. In five seconds, we're gonna be back on our knees for our last set. We're gonna go upright rows, finishing off those shoulders, Taking those elbows up nice and high. Dumbbells staying really close to your body. Ready, get it. Good, let's finish off that upper body. You're okay, you can fight through it. That's beautiful, beautiful. Come on, upper bodies. Second quarter, we have a nice long halftime coming up. Nice long halftime, beautiful. Let's get one more set of those push-up rows. I think we can do it. Ready, get it. I would need you to get to failure. You have oranges coming up at halftime. Your mom packed you oranges, Capri Suns. It's gonna be a fun halftime. Beautiful, finish it off, finish it off. We're gonna be halfway there, guys. In 10 seconds, we get a nice long break. Finish it up, come on, Erica. Keeping your chest nice and square. In three, two, one, and relax. Hey, congratulations, you've made it halfway 
through this workout. The third quarter, we're gonna try to tie in the upper body with the lower body, okay? We're gonna get that heart up even higher, and we're gonna get you breathing a little bit heavier. The next two exercises are gonna look like this. We're gonna grab your dumbbells, or if you don't have dumbbells at home, you can do them strictly with your hands, okay? We're gonna do a, basically a burpee. We're gonna come out, pike it up, push up, stand up, curl, press, jump. Okay, you're gonna do five of those. Then you're gonna grab your dumbbells, you're gonna squat down until your elbows touch your knees, and you're gonna press it up and jump. A modification is take the jump out. You're gonna do five of those. Then you're immediately gonna fall to your back and do five full sit-ups, taking the dumbbells to your toes and back behind your head. As soon as you finish five, 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 then we're gonna go down to four, 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 three, 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 two, 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 one, one, one. We have four minutes non-stop as fast and as hard as you can go. Let's grab your dumbbells. I only had to do one rep of each and I'm <laughs> exhausted. I can't believe you were doing this at home. I'm proud of you guys. Let's keep it up. Starting the second half, the third quarter, we are starting with the burpee pike, push up, press jump. We're starting in three, two, one, get it. I need five reps of these. Feet go out, pike it up, push up, stand up, curl, press, jump. Doing five repetitions. You see Matt is all lathered up. This was not any off-screen production. This is his real sweat. Hopefully you're sweating at home. Make sure you are getting water whenever you need it, resting whenever you need it. We have five reps of each. You see Sherry over here, she's stepping it back. If you're unable to jump back, you step it back, there's your modification. You can also go to the knees on the push-up. You finish those five burpee pike ups. Now we have five squat press jumps. So the dumbbells are gonna be on his shoulders. He's gonna squat down until his elbows touch his thighs, and he's gonna jump it up and press up one smooth, fluid movement. After five of those, we're going into five full sit-ups. We're doing five of each exercise, four of each exercise, three, two, one. At home, each time you do this workout, maybe you time yourself and say, how long did it take me to go five, four, three, two, one? Or maybe you made it for four minutes, five, four, three, two, one, and we're able to build back up to two, three, four, five, okay? Now we're going to a little abs, letting those legs breathe just for a second, letting that upper body breathe just for a second. And then we're gonna get back up, we're gonna go straight into those bur burpee pike push-ups. Good job, guys, good. Each time we wanna go a little bit faster, a little bit harder, knowing this is the third quarter. Last quarter's coming up. Beautiful, guys, keep it up. Keep it up, good. Exhaling every time you come up, beautiful. He's leaning back, he's inhaling, he's coming up, and he's breathing out. That is perfect. Good, we're back to our first exercise. Now we only have to do four reps. Only four reps this time. That is great. Creating a little sweat puddle right there. I love it. Ladies do not seem to sweat. They're in wonderful shape. And so is Matt. I don't want to say that. Doing a great job, guys. Remember, five of each exercise, four of each exercise, three, two, one. Good, a couple more minutes. You'll see that there's not a whole lot of reps. There's not a whole lot of breaks. Beautiful. Good, see how deep her squat is? She's, all her weight is on her heels, then it comes up onto her toes. Her buns are going backwards to protect those knees, and she doesn't even have to hold weights. Okay, beautiful. Feet her shoulder width. That's it, guys. Good. Good, back to some abs. She has her dumbbell, she's leading, she's trying to pull herself up with her abs. She's trying not to use the momentum of the weight to help her out. She's exhaling every time she comes up. Five, four, three, two, one. We don't have that much longer to go. Let's say about 90 seconds. See how far you can get in 90 seconds. Good job, guys, good job. One more quarter coming up. One more quarter coming up. If at any time two dumbbells becomes too heavy, you can drop one of the dumbbells and use one dumbbell on your presses when you do the squat press jump. You can put the dumbbells down on the side and just use your hands without the dumbbells. Well done, well done. Eyes are always looking in front of your fingertips on the push-ups, that's a great pike. So we're using our abs, our upper body, our lower body. If you can tell they're breathing very heavy. I'm sure you're breathing very heavy at home too. That means that we're getting something done. You cannot change your body unless you are challenging it. Your body will respond to any stress you put upon it. So if it's easy, if you're comfortable at home, then guess what? You're probably not getting as much change as you want. Stay with us. Beautiful. Let's call it 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. If you have anything else, pick it up that pace a little bit. 
whatever's left in your tank, whatever you've got at home, pick up that pace just a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's it guys, I love how deep you're going with that. That's perfect, perfect. Let's go 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Pick it up just a little bit. Pick it up just a little bit. Good, finish up 10 seconds at home. Come on, stay with us, we have one quarter left. One quarter left. Be uncomfortable. It's not fun, this is not designed with your pleasure in mind. We wanna work you out this five seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax. Congratulations, you made it through three quarters of exercise. This last set of exercises in the fourth quarter is designed to empty your tank. I'm gonna try to get everything out of you that I possibly can. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna take these straws, these really thick straws, we're gonna put those in our mouth. This is designed to create a little oxygen deprivation, to, to simulate how it feels when you're in high altitude, or to simulate how unable or how difficult it is to get oxygen and blood flowing to your muscles. Your muscles are a little fatigued, a little exhausted right now. They're gonna need that oxygen. We're gonna put more stress on the body by only having you breathe through these straws. Here we go. We're gonna put the straws in our mouth. We're gonna go through our fourth quarter, last four exercises. First one is we're gonna go 20 seconds of squats. You can have dumbbells in your hands or not in your hands. I like those feet, shoulder width apart. 20 seconds, nice, deep, perfect form squats, only breathing through your straws. The second 20 seconds, I'm gonna have you stay down there and pulse it. Again, only breathing through your straw. If at any time you feel dizzy, faint, super uncomfortable, go ahead and take those straws out. Um, here we go, we have 20 seconds of squats and then 20 seconds of pulse. Upon the completion of that exercise, the straw will come out and we're gonna get 20 seconds of fast feet, getting you breathing as fast as you can. Let's try it. 20 seconds, squatting on the clock, only breathing through your straws, ready and exercise. 20 seconds. We've been through this motion before. All the weight is on our heels. We're going nice and deep. We don't wanna go any faster than perfect. That's it, only breathing through that straw. Can you feel the difference with the straw, you guys? Perfect. And hold it down there. Good, sitting nice and deep and just pulsing. Pulsing, no weight is on those toes. Keep the weight off those toes. Beautiful, throw those buns backwards. Awesome. Good. In eight seconds, we're gonna go into fast feet. You can take that straw out if you are trying that at home. If not, you're still gonna get a great workout. In three seconds, we're into fast feet for 20 seconds. Ready, go, get it, fast feet, fast feet. Little faster. Look at the person next to you, see if you're going faster than them. Go faster, go faster. If you're at home, <laughs> try to stay in one place. Wake up the people down living below you. Whatever you have to do, in five seconds, we're going into push-ups. Putting the straw in your mouth, full range push-ups. Ready, go. Straws back in your mouth. You can be on your knees, on your toes. I like your eyeballs staring a foot and a half in front of your fingertips, lowering that body down, pressing it up. Again, right now your muscles are craving that oxygen. They're dying for that oxygen. What are you doing to it? You're putting stress on your body, which is gonna promote change much more efficiently. And hold it down there and pulse it. Hold and pulse, hold and pulse. If you collapse, if you go to failure, guess what? You're only a few inches from the ground. It won't hurt. Dare yourself to get to that position. In three seconds, we're on our feet for fast feet. 20 seconds, ready, go. Back on your feet, take that straw out. Fast feet, chop, chop, chop. Chop, chop, chop. There you go, there you go. I like it, I like it. Get rid of that oxygen, we don't need it. We don't need it, you're doing great. We have two more exercises. Next one we have shoulder presses, slight bend your knees, abs are tight, pressing it up and down. In three, two, one, straws back in your mouth. Feet together, knees bent, abs tight, pressing that weight up and down. Ready, go. Excellent, excellent. Anytime you feel a little uncomfortable with that straw, take it out, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. In five seconds, we're gonna pulse it right down here at 90 degrees. Ready, and pulse. Good, stay right there. Abs are tight, beautiful. You can also bring those elbows in tight right here and pulse it up and down as well. Stay with me, stay with me. Come on, we have one exercise left. You gotta stay with me. We go fast speed, ready, set, chop. Here we go, chop, 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 chop. Beautiful, a little faster, a little faster, a little faster. Fourth quarter, fourth quarter. We don't need to save anything. Nothing else is going on the rest of the day. You have 30 minutes is culminating here in just a minute. Last exercise, we have lunges in three, two, one. Straws in mouth, dumbbells by our side, lunging it side 
Get up and down, up and down. Beautiful, you guys. Last 20 seconds of lunges. We're gonna finish with pulses on each side, but I need 20 seconds on each leg. I need to wear it out, fatigue you, exhaust you, get you to failure. And good, let's all hold that right leg back there. Now just bounce, pulse with me. It's almost as if you're kissing your ground, your carpet, your hardwood, wherever you're at. Tap that back knee to the mat. Just little baby kisses, first date kisses. Nothing crazy, don't, don't hang out down there too long. And switch, lunge it back down there. I know it's burning, it's gotta burn. Keep all that weight on that front heel. Okay, no pressure is on those toes. Stay with me, we're gonna go fast feet for these last 20 seconds. Ready and get it. This is it, 20 seconds, fourth quarter, all you've got, all you've got. And beautiful squat jumps, touch it down, jump it up, get after it. All you've got, stay with me, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't even know what's going on right now. And now we have lunge jumps, go, finish it off, finish it off, all you've got. I'm calling it 10 seconds, stay with me for 10 seconds. We're gonna do this together, you guys. 10 more seconds, our workout is done. A little bit more, in and out squat jumps, stay little, stay little. Good, finish it off, you're stepping it out, you're jumping it out. You know you only have seven seconds left. Seven little baby seconds left. And push ups, go as fast as you can. All you've got, I don't care if it's full range or not. I want tension on those muscles for four seconds. Four seconds, squat jumps, go. Back to squat jumps for the last three seconds. We are completely done with this entire workout. All four quarters are done. In three seconds, two se lunge jumps. For the last two seconds, we're gonna stick strictly with lunge jumps. For these last two seconds, this is all we're doing after fast feet. Fast feet and we're done. So stay with me, stay with me for one second and relax. Hey, congratulations at home. You made it through Jeff Ogden's training camp. Four quarters of lower body, of upper body, of total body, finishing off with this crazy straw breathing, oxygen deprivation, muscle fatiguing failure workout. I'm very proud of you guys. Uh, let's bring it in. We're gonna break you down. We're gonna huddle up. You guys rocked it today. I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud of you at home. Continue on with us over this journey. We're gonna have 16 more uh, game days that we're gonna go through this season. We're gonna finish up. We're gonna get to our goals much more efficiently and much faster uh, by sticking with us. Great job. I'm proud of you guys. Let's break it down. Let's go. Training camp on three. One, two, three. Training camp! <laughs>